What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Star Ocean Anamnesis video. Today, I actually, um, I came back from my trip, I made those videos I made yesterday, and then I actually went to bed. And I had totally forgotten that we were going to be having Star Ocean maintenance, or else I would have stayed up to cover the new units that we got. Um, those who play will obviously know we have a new banner with two new characters. We have Star Ocean 3's Bride Maria, and we also have Star Ocean 2's Diaz. Um, Maria is an attacker, and Diaz is a sharpshooter. So we're going to go over the units real quick, and then we're going to hop into the banner. I think I'm going to do two or three multis, because I have this Maria on JP, but I would really like to have her on here, because she looks really good. Um... Blossom Maria is an attacker that uses dual blades. She can raise her own attack, and she's able to cancel the critical rate of charge assault. That's really good. This character is especially great for attack, obviously an attacker. Uh, Blossom Dias is a sharpshooter that uses daggers. He can decrease the attack and intellect damage that his party receives when targeted, and able to raise the critical rate of his party when nobody is targeted. A great support character whose effect changes depending on the situation. Um, okay, and obviously they say here that uh, Maria and Diaz are both especially effective in the budding ties on the planet of Blossoms, which is obviously the event they are coming here with. Um... And then we'll go over what it says here for Blossom Maria and Blossom Diaz real quick. There are no demerits in battle with Maria's charge assault and you use a an AP use reduction. Sorry. Um, and then for Diaz, like a defender, decrease damage when... Decrease damage taken, I can't talk for whatever reason, when being targeted by the enemy. There we go. Um, and of course, here we have their models. They both look great, but obviously the goal here for me is Maria. Um, let's just go over everything real quick. Rush mode is radiation bots. I'm going to do my best to read this because it is small text. AP cost minus 50% and recovers 10% HP every 3 seconds for 20 seconds. That's pretty good. You're basically healing yourself with that. Uh, powers attack times 5,500%, which is a 20 hit attack. The battle skills are Sinister, Sin, Sinistral, Edge, Blossom, jeez louise, uh, Dextral, Slaughter, Blossom, Northern Cross, Blossom, and Double Cross, Art. Um, looking at the stats real quick, you know, 17,000 HP, pretty normal. Um, once you get all your party buffs, you'll be above 20k anyway. Um, attack is 3,700, pretty decent, and defense 1,800, also pretty decent. Um, let's go over the actual talents real quick. I'll just do that. Um, talent number one is Glorious Cherry Blossoms 2. Nullifies enemies' critical hit effects from charge assault, and attack damage dealt plus 50% during charge assault for all attackers. So it is definitely beneficial to run more than one attacker when you're running this uh, Maria. Um, talent number two is Expedient Adaption 2. Attack plus 15%, 30% at 50 and 100 hits respectively. Um, it's one of the, another one of those abilities that only has the two percentages instead of three. Talent number three is Spiritual Beauty 2. AP cost minus 40%. And talent number four is Hunting Command Tower. Attack plus 30% and HP plus 10%. Very, very cool. So overall, a great unit. Now let's go over DS real quick before we hop into the banner itself. Uh, rush mode is Phoenix Blast Wave. Single target damage dealt plus 30% and AP recovery speed plus 50% for the party for 20 seconds. So... Uh, Maria is good for HP recovery and DS is good for AP recovery. Uh, power attack times 4,500%, a 10-hit attack. Battle skills are Lightning Chain Blossom, Flying Guillotine Blossom, Dancing Sword Blossom, and Phoenix Drive. Um, at max level with full limit break, uh, DS's abilities, or er, stats anyway, 19k for HP, which will definitely uh, bring DS to mm, probably 22, 23 uh, thousand, I'd say. Um, attack is 2800, which is pretty decent, but, you know, with being a sharpshooter, the speed more than makes up for the lack of, 
uh, damage output. And 2100 defense, that's pretty good. Um, And then let's go over these real quick. Talent number one is Tournament Winner 2. Sorry about that lock screen, because I didn't touch the screen for a bit. Um, no flinching when taking damage of 15% HP or less for the party. And Taunt plus 3 to self. Pretty good. So Taunt is good, um, obviously, to get all that aggro. Talent number 2 is Competitive Intuition 2. Damage dealt plus 45% when targeted by enemy. Minus 25% attack and intellect uh, damage taken for the whole party. So definitely good for taking less and less damage as much as possible. Talent number three is a Cherished Ring 2. Damage dealt plus 60% when not targeted by enemy. Plus 20% critical hit chance for the whole party. Uh, talent number four. Finally, a Heart Transforming. Attack plus 15% and 20%. Or attack plus 15%, defense plus 20%, and HP plus 35%. So very, very good. Decent amount of health uh, upgrade right there for DS. So that is it. That is our two characters on this brand new banner, which is very, very cool. Um, so now that we've gone over them real quick, we're actually going to hop over to the banner itself. Um, obviously, if I do a multi or two or three... Um, and I pull one of the units as where I'll stop. Um, and after three multis, if I haven't pulled either of them, we're just going to call it there. Because that'll still leave me with six multis for whatever summer units we're going to be coming up with. So let's do our first multi right here. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get lucky. First multi. All right, we got a rainbow. Good, good, good. Whoa, three five. This might be our only multi. That's three five stars right there. That is good. All right. When are they going to show up, though, is the question. And this is good because I haven't summoned in a while, so it'll be nice to get some of these uh, limit break materials because I'm definitely in dire need of them. All right. We've already gone through four of our units, not a single five star yet. Five units, no five star. I know there were three. Oh, there we go. We got us. I'm actually very happy about this because I wanted Crow when he first came around, but I wasn't able to get him, so that's good. So that is something I don't have to chase for uh, later on. All right, so Crow is our number. Oh, well, we got Diaz. All right, I think we're going to stop. I may do one more. Let's see what the other one is. Cause if it's Maria, that would be one heck of a summon. And we get double Diaz. Okay, yeah, we're going to do one or two more. Wow, that is a pull. Um, I'm definitely going to screenshot that. We are not going to get that lucky again. I'm almost tempted to not do another multi, but I kind of really want that Maria. All right, so that is a great first multi. So let's go ahead and hop into the second one while Maria's picture is actually up here. Maybe they'll give us the luck we need. So essentially, that could have been Maria right there. That would have been nice. Okay, one this time. Yeah, I didn't think we weren't going to get that lucky again. I don't think I've ever gotten a multi with that many units. Um... Or, not that many units, but that many 5 stars. I don't think I've ever gotten a 3 5 star multi uh, before in my history of playing on either version of this game. And this isn't even a waste because, like I said, all of these... Uh... Okay. Shizado? Alright. I mean, I'll take it. And then we'll do one more after this and uh, we'll call it there. But yeah, all these limit break items are definitely going to be useful for me later down the road. Especially if I'm able to pull uh, Summer Evelise, assuming she comes this summer. Um, that will definitely be good. Um, oh yeah, so I didn't have Shizato before, so that's good. Alright, final multi. Come on, Maria. Show me what you got. Watch, this is going to be the one where it's just going to be uh, all four stars. No, we're, we're getting three lucky ones in a row. Alright. Ooh, two five stars again. Come on, let's see Maria in one of these two. Um, but yeah, so after this multi, I will be saving until we... Oh, okay. Oh, uh, well, Fear already had. I thought... 
Because I just saw Fia, and I thought it was the Crimson Fia that's on the banner currently, but obviously not going to be that lucky. Um, but yeah, you really think about it. So three, four, so six, uh, five stars in three multis. That's really, really good. All right, let's see that Blossom Maria. Nope, not yet. How about now? It's going to be the final unit, isn't it? And we just get a dupe for Emerson. All right, that's fine. Um, we still walk away with some good stuff, plus a lot of Limit Break materials. Um, so I will definitely uh, call it there with that. Um, let me actually see. Do I have any tickets? Ooh, I have an ace ticket. You know what? We'll give it a try. We'll, we'll see if we can... Uh, let's see if we can YOLO Maria from this ace ticket. Come on. Let's... Oh, no, but I'll take that. Um, I will definitely take Ashton. I don't, I don't have Ashton, so that's definitely good. It's actually kind of ironic that I pull Ashton. Since the Tales of the Rays with Star Ocean collab is still going on for a couple more days, and I actually pulled Laffy Set's uh, Ashton thing over there. Um, I, but I want to check real quick, see how I'm doing on Limit Break Materials, actually, because I haven't spent in a while. Um, I'm not actually going to spend here, but let's just take a look. Okay, so we've got two uh, upgrades for the small, three for the medium, and two for the large. So I could actually potentially uh, finish off uh, official Raimi, but I'm not going to right now because I'm not actually using her on a main team right at this moment. Um, but I do have some other five stars down here that are kind of getting close to being... Uh, you know, we got FaZe down here, who's almost at 10. Um, we got Limmel down there, who's at 6. So, uh, we got some decent stuff over here. I think when it, whenever I get some of these characters, the ones I'm not actually leveling myself to 10 is probably when I'll 6-star them. Because right now, there's no real reason to. I will probably... Um, Dias right here is probably... I'm not going to limit break him to 10, but I will at least awaken him all the way. Uh, and try them out a bit. But uh, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know how your guys' luck went. I'm actually curious. Can I... Well, that... Oh, get 100 characters, 200 gems. How generous of them. <laughs> I always find it funny. Like, you get 500 gems once you hit rank 110. I don't know if it keeps going after that. Like, every 10 levels, you'll get more. But uh, you would think that would be a nice thing for them to do. I actually want to exchange... Oh, yeah, I have enough Enchanted Tablets to get another five-star character ticket. That is perfect. Um, I'm still going to wait a few more banners till I use my actual five-star character tickets because um, I have most of the characters, especially now that I pulled some more, I have most of the characters in the general pool for the daily banner. I think the one of the only ones I can think of off the top of my head that I don't have is Edge, the official Edge. Um, that came with the official Raimi and Crow. Um, but other than him, I think there's only a couple others I'm actually missing. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys summon, let me know what you guys pulled down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.